Hey folks, just a quick video to show you how to set up multi-output plugins in your door. This is Logic Pro. I'm going to put Vinyl House Drums multi-output version on this track. I'm going to select one of their multi-output kits. You can see the outputs are already mapped from 1 to 8. So I'm going to bring in the MIDI file that's included with the plugin. And we have drums. I'm going to bring up the mixer page. And because this is the multi-output version of the plugin, you can see this plus and minus buttons here it means I can add a bunch of extra tracks that are automatically mapped to the plugins outputs. So we have separation. So now I can add some effects. So you can rename these um, to kick, clap, hat, etc. if you like. You can also uh, select all of these tracks and you can send them instead of the stereo output, you can send them to a bus and on the bus you can put a compressor. And then of course when you move through the other kits everything's already set up. Now we're in Ableton Live, I'm going to drag in that same MIDI file and I'm going to bring up Vinyl House Drums, I'm going to throw it on here, I'm going to choose a multi-output kit. Now we can only hear the kick because the other sounds are routed to the other outputs so we need to add those tracks. So we add eight more audio tracks. So we've got 1 to 8 for the drums, 9 is the texture channel. And we have to set up the input of all of these audio tracks to Vinyl House Drums plugin. And then we have to send, set each one to outputs. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we also have to set all the monitors to in so that they receive audio from here. So we've got the same thing, so now we can start adding effects to this. Here we are in machine. I've got vinyl house drums on this first sound. I'm going to bring in that MIDI. And then I'm going to choose a multi output preset. See the outputs are mapped 1 to 8 there. And then in the other sounds in the group, we're going to set the input audio to the extra outputs of the first sound. So we just go do. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we can start adding effects. go simple as that again you can go through and rename these if you like just for organization purposes and this is Reaper I'm gonna right click to insert virtual instruments on new track choose vinyl house drums and it's gonna to offer to build the routing for me 
I just select yes, choose one of the multi kit presets, and then I'm going to drag the MIDI file in, same as usual. And there we go. And of course, in Reaper, you can add effects and grouping as well. So there you go. That's how you set up multi-output routine for a plugin in Logic Pro, Ableton Live, Machine, Reaper.